What am I thinking? This can't go on any longer. I have to tell her to stop. Dude, do not delete that picture. So, uh, you still doing the two-timing tango? Don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. Well, if she is pregnant, you gotta bite the bullet. <laughs> yeah, you're only saying that because it's not you. Hey, man, variety is the spice of life. You need to enjoy it more. Just like the wasabi-coated sushi they serve here. You know what I'm saying, bro? You suck at metaphors. What I'm saying is you've got options ahead of you. Oh, yeah? Maybe Catherine would be happier as a single mom than she would be with you. What, are you drunk? No, she wouldn't want that. Well, what exactly do you want here? <sighs> my mind and my heart don't exactly agree on that. Uh-huh. Well, you've got to be even more careful. If you're caught, you can't call it an accident anymore. I know. I know. Accidents, huh? More and more of them lately. The old guy next door to me kicked the bucket. I heard shocking, huh? Thought he always did like to party. Probably party too hard. Some magro. It's supposed to be good for your circulation. Huh? You're as pale as a ghost, man. Oh. You going to the bar tonight? Uh, maybe. You? Nah, I have to pass today. Got overtime. But I guess all you can do is drink and forget, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Pregnant. She's pregnant. And here I am cheating for a third time. What am I doing? Ah. Why do I keep cheating? Why can't I just tell her I have a girlfriend? I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you as you seem to have finished your class. Did you know the United States outlawed alcohol between 1920 and 1933? It is said that this very prohibition paved a way for the cocktail culture to bloom. Alcohol made in secret tended to taste terrible, so people began mixing it with anything and everything to make it more enjoyable. These are the roots of the modern cocktail. The more you stamp on a weed, the more it thrives. My, that's deep. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. All right, you know what you want? I'll try sake. Okay, I'll be right back. There you go. It's pretty rare for you to be here by yourself. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a drink with you. Hey, don't you work here? Do your job. Ugh, with a boss like that? I thought an old guy like him would be cool, but boy, was I wrong. You sure know how to choose a place to work. Whew. I don't want to let her down just because I was being stupid. can't turn back now. I can't let her find out. Mm. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about Japanese sake, now that you've emptied your sake cup. Do you know who the first Westerner to drink Japanese sake was? According to records, it was Spanish missionary Francis Xavier, who came to Japan in 1549. In his letters written back home, he was amazed to learn that the alcohol was made from rice, not fruit. 
It must have been a rice surprise. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool. Johnny seem a bit gloomy to you? Did something happen? He don't mess around, man. I'm seriously worried about him. He always hides his problems, right? Yeah, huh? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Wow, you don't look so hot. You should go home and get some rest. I know. Oh, yeah, about my bill. Uh. Yeah, put it on your tab, right? I know, I know. Anyway, just make sure you get home safely, okay? With all the rumors and bad news going around. Ah, you worry too much, Erica. I'll be fine. See you soon. Stepping on an ice block will make you slide until you reach the edge. It's a dangerous hazard that can lead to instant death. Be careful. Snow? Shit, it's cold. I I'm gonna freeze to death. Thank you. 